It's a really cool sport to play. I mean, it's just lacrosse on ice. Since the Extreme Ice Center opened in 2006, they have offered high school hockey. There wasn't a lot of kids playing, you know, and there wasn't a lot of teams. But every year I notice there's uh, more leagues, more teams, uh, more kids. So we, as you know, an organization and as Charlotte, uh, North Carolina, kind of want to get to that status of, you know, of being a bigger hockey place. I'm originally from Messina, New York, a very small town uh, where hockey was king. And you just kind of want to take that passion that you had and, and bring it down here to where I live now. A common trait among the kids on the ice. I always watch it with my dad. He's from New York. My parents are originally from uh, uh, New York, okay. so they grew up around hockey. My dad got me into it. The league allows for students from all over a chance to lace up, even students not in a brick and mortar school. You get to play against guys that you usually wouldn't play against. Um, you get to play with people that you usually wouldn't play with. It, it's, a, it's great. There are nine teams with kids from different schools on the same line. There's not too many hockey players at Catholic. But there is enough for a full ice cougar club. The league is unique, recruiting ages from rising ninth graders to seniors in their last semester. So they can't do everything allowed in the NHL. A few years ago, they took hitting out of the game in the high school league because it just it was pretty unfair to have a big, you know, maybe a six foot three senior, you know, hitting a, a young guy into the boards or something like that. So they took hitting out of the game and it balanced things out. And uh, and so now it's, it's more based on the skill and you can really see that. Reporting in Indian Trail, Jack Taylor, WCCB News.